Hello, Simon. I'm back with the Instax SQ40 from Foodie Film, the latest camera we've got into review from the company. And yeah, we've been testing it out. Loads of pictures there to talk about in a minute. And one thing from using this is that you will not go unnoticed when this is up against your head taking a photograph. Because when I was out testing it out, everyone was looking and a few people actually stopped and asked what the crack was with. So yeah, I told them it was a camera. Which is pretty obvious to look at, but they were like, never seen something like this one before. Which is fair enough, I suppose, but yeah, it gains a lot of attraction. And even if it sat down in front of you at a coffee shop, like say, where I was, out testing, um, people were asking about it because of its size. So it is a bit on the cumbersome side, but nonetheless, it's still a fun camera with that retro look. And it's simple to use. It'd be one of the easiest cameras to use in the world, in fact. And it just runs with two batteries. You've got your viewfinder. You've got your flash here. And you've got your selfie mirror there. And, of course, your shot there. And, of course, you just twist it open like that, as you would have seen in the unboxing. For your two separate modes, you've got on and selfie. And that's basically it. Your picture will pop out up here on top. And the job is done. So that's really about it. So... You have got your CR2 batteries, which will power it. And they've lasted me throughout the process, so I suppose that's not bad. And you have got all that kind of stuff there. You've got two elements on the lens. You have F6575 and 1.1216. And you've got a viewfinder, which is 0.4x with a target spot. And that's basically it. It's just a simple camera to use, a simple lens. Not much to it like other big DSLRs or even your smartphone for that example. So if you just want to point and shoot, you'll get the job done and that's it. And of course you've got your new films as well, which come in at 8672 and picture size is 6262. So they're the square, as you've seen already, just two different types there. One with a different surround on it, as you've seen in the unboxing as well when we were looking at the films. And that's it. Now it does weigh 453 grams without any um, elements in it. That's the batteries and the camera itself or the, the, the pictures packs. So that's it. But again, it is pretty big as mentioned, but still not really a problem. And you could still carry it around in a backpack or a bag or if the ladies have it in one of their handbags. They're kind of big enough these days. Anyway, what you call them, the clutch bags and the likes of that kind of thing. That's a different discussion for a different day. We're here to talk about the camera. So you've got your classic design and your timeless looks. And of course, you've got automatic exposure. Now, again, with these cameras, it does it does do hit and miss with some pictures. And it did perform better in some parts um, and not in others. But again, sometimes the pictures can be ran, random or, or blown out. But that's just what happens with these. And if you just to consider that on your porches. Now, one area it did turn out really well was actually in dark settings so um here is two examples of dark setting pictures i took with the full flash in use and they came out pretty good which was impressive and i like that um because it's again it's hard to get a photograph decent at night anyway even with a good smartphone these days but this is just a typical camera with a flash and it came out pretty decent and um, in comparison to what you'd expect from these kind of cameras. You're not going to get high quality DSLR pictures like this or from your or like from your smartphone as well. Using these kind of cameras, they're not the point of them. So that's pretty much it there. So a couple of daytime shots there. There's another one like so. And a selfie in the day. And we've got a different selfie here. And you can see the colors do pop out, which is nice. And here's a different one here with the different picture that we are the different frame we were using the sunset is the proper name so and these ones are just a standard square but that's the sunset and that's the standard in stack square and the colors do come out as you can see which is pretty good so just two and a comparison there right beside each other you can see the tone and all there that's come out nicely on it which is pretty cool and just a couple of other ones so here's one for example that didn't come out at all Another example here, and again, you can see a decent picture. And we'll put these on the side. So here's another one here, and you can kind of see that something kind of got in the way there. And the colors didn't come out really well there. But again, like I met, like mentioned, that happens. Another example there, nothing coming out whatsoever. And another, but it just happens with these cameras. So some other 
points to take note is here's a daytime picture and we've got another one with the sunset background i think there's a lot of pictures here that was one of the ones that blew out so let me just put these aside so again they're just the night ones there just to give you an idea of how good it actually does work at night with the big flash here and a daytime example there and here's a daytime example of just beside this one here i think the night one turned out better than the day one in that particular shot there and some random photographs of the dog in the house and there's another one there you kind of see sometimes the overexposure and again like that and again when you're focusing as well you just have to be careful um how you're pointing the camera and use the um there's a little circle inside you'll see it when you're looking through to take your picture and another example here is another day like that kind of got blown out and one we took on the day kind of got blown out but most of the time they'll come out fine just some with a random photographs talk of just the two specialist clocks I own and that's what they come out there they come out pretty all right and overall they do it does a decent job and the pictures do kind of pop in certain instances but certainly you just want to be in have the right conditions and you can just see the difference between those two there and that's just the sunset background and that's just this typical insect square one there but overall a decent camera and it's fun to have and people will ask you questions but again it's, it is a phone camera it's not to go out and take pictures you can put up on the internet and all that kind of stuff and of course this camera doesn't have that ability in it it's just our standard take a picture hold it in your hand and bring it home do you remember when we all used to do that years ago you can still do with instax and their full range of cameras of course they have the printers as well but they do have a lot of cameras out which you probably test them all at this stage and you can do that and i find it very good for selfies as well again if you look through here you can see this is where you'd be looking at with your selfie and that's really about it really nice phone camera it is on the large side but it is what it is and it has that classic retro look and looks well of course you can have your strap on here and go around looking like the proper tours with hanging down from the front if you wish to do so and again you can pr probably put it in a bag or a backpack as well if you want to bring it with you and get some of those real kind of old style shots which is really good and that's really about it nice camera overall another one to put up and stack beside the rest on the little shelf and they look really cool people will ask you what it is when you do have it and guarantee you that but overall the simplicity and how it works and you do get nice pictures but again just taking into effect that sometimes they're not always going to turn out the way you expect them to but that's just the nature of these cameras but overall a really nice camera and it gets the job done and again, another point I like to make quite a lot is if a picture that'll pop out here and you can hand it to someone and you'll have it rather than store it on your phone or stick it up on social media. Memories to keep and share at home or put them in a little kind of picture frame if you want to do so. So that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.